Hi guys, Obo from Cytron Technologies, Malaysia. Today, I'd like to talk about PoE hat for Raspberry Pi. Yes, we did several videos a few months back on the PoE hat and we have actually carried it. But there are some issues on certain batch of Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. By the way, only Raspberry Pi 3B Plus can use PoE head because it comes with extra PoE header. Okay? So anyway, let me put this Raspberry Pi 3B Plus aside. This is the new uh, PoE head from Raspberry Pi Foundation. They have fixed the issue. If you like to know more about the issue, I'll put the link under this video. Go check it out. Basically, is uh, the problem of certain batch of Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that cannot provide uh, high current to the USB port. So if you connect to mouse and keyboard, uh, it will function normally. Uh, but if you connect uh, external hard disk or external hard drive, you might have problem of the it cannot power up the external hard drive. So uh, it's in the ESC pack, this box and you get some spacer for spacer so make sure you use the spacer it's quite important because uh, you need some space between the head and also the uh, 3b plus okay let me put this aside uh, i wanted to show you the difference between the old version this is the old version and the new version so when you connect to the 3b plus you should connect in this orientation where this is the top of the poe head so from the top, there's no difference. The labels, the fans, and also the transformer is the same. Okay, let me flip it over to the bottom layer. So this is the new board. My left hand side, this is the old board on my right hand side. So if you look at the layout and the component, the only difference is over here. So on the old version of uh, PoE head, it doesn't come with extra PCB. So if you look at this part, is actually extra PCB being soldered on top of the PoE head. And they remove uh, these two capacitor here. And they solder this extra PCB. And on top of this extra PCB, there's quite a number of uh, capacitor, inductor over here, and a resistor. I guess this is uh, more to filtering of the supply. Okay. Okay, what I have here is a HDMI display. I just want to display that uh, our Raspberry Pi is actually boot up and is running the OS. Uh, this is the new PoE hat with the extra PCB and of course the extra uh, capacitor, inductor and uh, the resistor uh, as I showed you earlier. Uh, this is actually a USB load. Uh, this is USB display. It will display the voltage and also the current of uh, USB port and I have a PoE Ethernet cable uh, is 48 volt from a PoE adapter so let's, let's demonstrate so I have actually mounted the spacer come with the PoE head so make sure you have that spacer because uh, the space is quite important and remember this is the bottom layer, this is the top layer. So when you mount, please mouse in this orientation. Just align to the 40 pin GPIO and press it in. Uh, automatically, the PoE pin on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus will also be uh, insert into PoE head. Okay, of course you can also use the extra screw to screw the PoE head onto the spacer. Okay. So let me power up using just the Ethernet cable. So you start booting up. So the red LED indicates there's the, the there's a 5 volt and the green LED is the activity indicator LED. So hopefully you can see it is blinking and the display actually display the desktop already. Okay. So it's running. Now let me connect to a USB uh, load and I'll adjust the current output. Let me go to the minimum first. 
So it's around 100 milliamp now. 0 0.1 amp at 4.97 volt. Uh, let me adjust. Increase the load. Okay, around 1 amp. It will stop providing the power to the USB port, but the OS is still running fine. Okay, the display actually show the uh, Raspbian is running okay, fine. Uh, now it's at 7 uh, 4.74 volt at 1.12 amp. So that is quite uh, high current. So just let me adjust a bit. Maybe it's at 1.12. Yep, I think it's 1.12. It will uh, trigger the USB port protection. But even if it triggers the USB port protection, the operating system is running fine. Okay, so that's the new PoE hack. Um, hopefully this video is helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumb up and do share it. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.